We begin with that breaking news out of New York City. The FBI has arrested a Queens man whom they say was planning to blow up the Federal Reserve Bank in Lower Manhattan. Do you think how the president handled the storm in New York and New Jersey is what pushed voters over to his side? But is there anything else we need to know before praising the deal? You know, they say the, the devil's in the details. Behind me, you can see the preparations are going on. You can hear uh, some of the singing that's going to be happening. Yeah, John's going to be talking about the weekend. But in the meantime, John, how is it looking uh, for tonight? Well, good Wednesday evening to you. I'm Mike Stevens. Freak accident leaves a Rockland County toddler dead tonight. He drowned in a toilet while visiting family in Brooklyn. Police say it happened on 11th Avenue in the Borough Park neighborhood late Monday night. 14-month-old Mindy Altman rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead. Investigators say there is no sign of foul play. Well, police would like suspects in a laundromat beating to come clean. Police say a man and two women beat the laundromat worker with their hands and fists. Surveillance video captured the attack. Fourth person allegedly swiped cash from the register when all this was going on. It happened around 11 o'clock Sunday at Laundry Land on White Plains Road in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. Again, the number to call if you know something about these people is 1-800-577-TIPS. Quite a mess to deal with out there, but the drive home tonight should be much better. Okay. All right, John, we'll look for it. Thank you. Authorities across the nation want you to remember how dangerous it is to text while driving. It's National Don't Text and Drive Day. Earlier this year, a new law was passed in New Jersey that toughens penalties for drivers who cause injuries while texting or talking on their phones behind the wheel. Right here in the tri-state area. And today, officials gathered to demonstrate the dangers with shining laser pointers into airplane cockpits. Joining us live now from Newark Airport, Files One's Christy Duffy. Christy. Mike, Megan, back to you. All right, Barb Consiglio, thank you. Now, we're following another breaking story tonight. This one out of Long Island, where for the second time in as many days, police are investigating a serious package that's very suspicious at a Home Depot store. And if you missed it, you can watch the whole thing in about two minutes. <laughs> the Los Angeles Times put together this time-lapse video showing the shuttle's 12-mile trip from uh, LAX Airport through Englewood to the California Science Center in Exposition Park. Thousands of people lined up along the route and, and uh, watched it weave around trees, utility poles, and other obstacles. You can see the whole thing on our website, but I think you pretty much have seen it. <laughs> I know, now. that's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought it was so interesting when they were trying to get around those trees and stuff. You know, you're seeing like, there was one shot of like a family looking out their living room window and there comes yeah. the space shuttle. Yeah. And it's like, can you Martha, imagine? Martha, did you <laughs> see that? <laughs> All right, sounds good, thank you. Thank you for watching the recap tonight. Richard French Live coming up next. I'm Mike Stevens. And I'm Megan Vick.